So in this video, we're going to walk through how to install Vim in Windows 11. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to vim.org. Make sure you do org.com, and that'll bring up the Vim homepage. And from there, you can see that there's an option to download. You'll select the option that best fits the system that you're on, and you'll want to select the current stable version. So I'll click on that to download it. It'll take a few seconds. And then I click to open the installer. And it may ask you if you're sure, and you can click yes if you get that option. Select your default language, accept a license agreement. So the default options should be sufficient. My recommendation, unless you know what you're doing, is just leave everything as the default and then install. And you'll notice you get some desktop icons. You can delete those if you want. And when you click finish, you can read through the readme that walks through some stuff about what Vim is and some various information things that you may find interesting. So now once it's installed, you can open a file. If you right click, open with, and then Vim will be one of the options. And if you want to set something as the default, when you select Vim, you can always say, always use this app to open C files. I don't want to do that in this case, but that's something you could do if you wanted to. And I use Vim enough that I actually like to pin it to the taskbar. But of course, that's optional. You don't have to do that. I just do it for convenience. And so that is a quick introduction to getting up and running with Vim in Windows 11.